In this video I'm going to show you the quality that you can get at 8K 24 frames per second with the Insta360 Ace Pro. Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on my channel. I'm Photo Rabs. I make videos about photography, filmmaking, camera tech related reviews, unboxings, action cams, vlogging kits and so on. If you're interested in these topics, I highly appreciate if you go subscribe to my channel. That's a massive help. And by the way, this video is not sponsored by Insta360. I decided to make this video because I'm receiving many messages and comments from you guys asking about the 8K resolution of this camera. So in this video, I'm going to talk about the 8K resolution. And at the end of this video, I'm going to show you some comparison between the 4K and the 8K that this camera can deliver. So what you are watching now is the 8K 24 frame per second because this camera, even though it's capable to shoot in 8K, but we cannot shoot in higher frame rates. We are limited to 24 frame per second. So let me know what you think about the image quality, whether it is worth uh, the hype, whether it's worth the money for this camera to shoot in 8K. Let me know what you think about that in the comment section below. I think this is the only action camera in the market that has the 8K capability and Insta360 did not use the 8K feature for this camera as a key element for their marketing campaign by the way. On another note, this 8K feature needs lots of processing to edit the footages, to watch the videos on 8K monitors, so it's not an easy job to do later on on post-processing. Add to that the file size in 8K are really huge. So let me know whether this feature is really worth it for you. So the question that I've been receiving a lot recently is about the 8K resolution. How Insta360 achieved this 8K resolution on this tiny little camera? On the camera sensor, we have photo sites and these photo sites are converted to pixels. The main role of the pixels is to gather the light coming to the sensor and convert it to an image that you are seeing on the screen. So Insta360 in 8K, they are using the small photo sites as small pixels. That's why we have smaller pixels in 8K. But when we are shooting in 4K, Insta360 is using the pixel binning. It's mixing four pixels together to combine one pixel. That's why we have a bigger pixel in 4K resolution compared to the 8K resolution and that's why we cannot shoot in 8K in the pure video mode. The pure video mode which is the low light mode on the Insta360 is mainly dedicated to use it in low light conditions in 4K resolutions only and not in 8K. So here is a comparison now between the 8K footages and the 4K footages at 24 frames per second. Sit back and enjoy these footages and let me know your thoughts in the comment section below.
and that's it for today's video i hope you enjoyed it if so like comment share and subscribe that's a massive help for my channel check my affiliate links down below i have lots of promo codes lots of good deals about photography and videography products you can save some money and you can help my channel a lot and thank you for watching ciao for now